So I apologize if you watched this video earlier today and it wasn't clear to you guys, but yes, I am gay. Now, I know a lot of you guys are commenting saying you're not gay, and I know that you guys are coming from a good place, but I just want you guys to know that there's nothing wrong with being gay, and yeah, I felt like I needed to take down that video and re-upload this video because it wasn't actually clear in my last video, which I apologize again, I didn't mean for it to not be clear, now it's clear. I hope you still watch this video. I mean, if you already watched it last time, you don't have to watch it this time. But I hope you watch this video because I hope it helps someone out there. The main reason why I'm making this video, and you guys don't have to watch it if you don't want to, but the main reason why I'm making this video is because I thought to myself, what if one of my viewers was this nine-year-old that felt lost, alone, misunderstood, like nobody cared about them, like no one accepted them, like no one was there to help them. So I'm making this video for anyone out there that does feel lost or anyone out there that does feel like, like they, they have no hope or whatever because like, I don't know, maybe maybe my, me sharing my story or sharing what happened to me um, and sharing things about my life will actually help someone get through that darkness. Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Deejus and I usually play a lot of games, um, but this is a more serious video because I was reading the news and a nine-year-old boy committed suicide after he came out as gay and he got bullied for it, so I just, I just thought since I get asked this question a lot and I get a lot of hate comments or whatever um, to actually like answer this question in the video which I which is crazy to me I didn't think that I'd be answering it so soon or at least I didn't think that I would be doing it this way if that makes sense and maybe one day I'll feel the need to take this video down hopefully but um or or if I explain things in a better video down the line because right now I'm kind of just I, I didn't I have no I had no idea of even like recording this video and here I am sitting talking to you telling you about my life but um this story in particular was very heartbreaking for me because when I was around nine years old in fourth, I'm pretty sure it was fourth or fifth grade, um, I actually got bullied for being gay myself. Now I wasn't openly gay back then, but um, I had a really high pitched voice and so there was, there was this one situation where these kids were literally pushing me around on the playground saying um, like, oh you sound gay blah 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 and then I... I would this is not the way to handle things I just want to clarify this but I want to tell you guys like the actual story of what really happened because some of my friends from childhood who I still talk to can verify this is the story but um I one kid in particular who was pushing me around uh, I went up to him and I was like I want you and what I meant by that is like I wanted to fight him um which is again not the right way to go about things but they took it as like a reverse way of being like oh I want you you're so gay I want you and it was, it was really hard to deal with that. Um, and my school handled it really well, actually. After that started happening, my school set made sure that they had to stay a certain amount of distance away from me and that they couldn't uh, bully me and stuff like that. So my shout out to my school because they actually handled it very well. Um, and I'm not sure how this school handled things. I know the story's still developing and just happened, but I just wanted to, to share my nine-year-old experience um, of being bullied for being gay with you guys. Uh, because I don't know if there's any of you out there that might identify as gay or any spectrum on the LGBT uh, spectrum. Um, and again, I, I don't want this to be like, I don't want you guys to, to see this video and like see me differently. And like, that's kind of one of the reasons why I've always been so hesitant to make a video like this is just because like, I my channel is about games, right? Like, I, I feel like like anything that's outside of gaming and it's just about my personal life is kind of like a, a distraction from games but I do understand that there's some of you guys that follow me because you actually genuinely are interested in my personal life and you actually genuinely care about me so I wanted to share this with you guys and I hope that what this does is if anything not change your opinion about me but if you have someone in your family or in your life that is LGBT or a friend at school um, just you know let them know that you're there for them if you can because like I, I'm not sure what the schooling system is like now but I was bullied pretty much most of my time up until high school I would say uh, for being gay or having a high-pitched voice I would say because I wasn't openly gay back then because um, I was so afraid of so like especially like when I was in ninth grade like it, it was just not it the world was not as accepting gay marriage was still illegal you didn't see any sort of like there was no like big influencers or celebrities really that were gay that like that there wasn't that many people but like now it's it's cool to live in this world where Dan TDM is tweeting you know everyone should be proud of themselves and have pride for themselves and um, and and I think it's cool that companies like YouTube or Twitter or whatever, they take this position that's like very prideful, which again, this is kind of like, I, I don't want to drag Roblox by saying this, but like part of the reason why I never felt like coming out to you guys is because I've never seen like a pride related event on Roblox. So like part of me was like, maybe you guys are too young. Maybe you guys don't understand, but like clearly you guys are not too young. Clearly you guys understand. And 
you know, the fact that this nine-year-old boy just committed suicide because of bullying is like, please do not bully gay people. Bullying is never okay. Don't bully anyone, period. But like, especially LGBT youth, because LGBT youth has a very high rate of committing suicide or self-harm um, because of um, intense amount of bullying and not feeling accepted by society, not feeling accepted by their parents. And you guys, I'm gonna leave some links in the description for some resources if you need um, help or if you are dealing with something, if you're struggling with something yourself, I am going to leave, so leave some resources in the description um, for you guys to take a look at and hopefully those can help you. I'm not like a accredited psychologist or therapist or um, doctor or something like that so like I can't be there for everyone you know like like when you guys comment things it's like it's it hurts me but like I also can't solve everyone's problems I can't do everything I'm not I don't I, I literally am not accredited to even to even give you guys advice on certain stuff so like I don't want to put myself in a position where I say something that ends up making things worse for you um, but then I understand that I have this platform so I could say things that might make something better for someone. So I've kind of just been torn on like whether I should make this video or not. But I was like, I'm, I need to just make this video and like, um, I, if it relates to one person out there or if it helps one person feel accepted or loved or cared about or like, you know, like, I, I can't find the words right now, but you guys know what I'm saying. If it just helps even one person, I feel like I've done my job. And I'm sure there's going to be people that unsubscribe because they don't understand or they don't get it. And that's honestly fine because at the end of the day, like, I do YouTube as a hobby and I enjoy this and it's for fun. Um, I don't do YouTube for subscriber count or views or money or whatever. So, like, if those people are going to unsubscribe, they can unsubscribe. I don't care if I take a giant hit right now. But I just wanted to be there for you guys because I know some of you guys, even if you're not struggling with being LGBT, if you're struggling with depression, if you're struggling with um, being oversized, if you're struggling with how you look, if you're struggling with mental any like mental health, if you're struggling with anything, I just want you guys to know that things will get better. You just have to persevere. You have to remain strong and it is going to be hard. It is really going to be hard. There's, there's there, but you just gotta, you know, lean on the people that really support you and love you and care about you. And, and, you know, even if you feel like no one cares about you, there's always going to be someone out there that cares about you. Um, and, yeah, I mean, that's, I think I've said pretty much just about everything that I needed to say. I don't want to drag this video off, but I, I hope that this helped someone, and I hope that you guys have a good school year, and I hope that you guys don't get bullied this school year, and I hope that you don't bully anyone this school year. But uh, that's pretty much it for this video. I'll see you guys later. Bye. So as I was editing this video, I realized that I didn't really talk about how you shouldn't be ashamed to be gay, and it's not, you should, it's not an insult, don't use it as an insult to people. And what I found throughout my life is whenever someone's called me gay or tried to highlight the fact that I'm gay, it's because they're hiding from an insecurity about themselves. Um, and they have insecurities about themselves, and that they are dealing with their own personal battles or personal struggles, so they feel like, let me highlight something about someone else. And it's like, really, if you think about it, why on earth would you care about whether someone is gay or not unless you are gay yourself? I'm, I'm just, I don't know. That was kind of always my thing is like, why do people, why, why would you care so much if you're straight? Like, why do you care? Like, how does it affect your life? How does it impact your life? Why, why, why does it matter that much? Um, but yeah, so <laughs> I just want to talk about that, you guys. Definitely don't feel ashamed to be who you are, but also don't feel this need to be forcefully outed, um, and it's not okay to out people. So if you think someone is gay, you shouldn't say that you think they're gay because they're clearly not ready to be open about being gay. And I mentioned earlier in the video, since Roblox has never done anything that's like pride related, I felt like maybe you guys were a little too young of an audience for me to talk about this kind of stuff. So um, that's the main reason why I haven't come, come out to you guys. Um, and as you can tell, I, I did this video now, so clearly things have changed, but um, I, I just want you guys to know that like if someone is gay or if you think they might be gay Like just be accepting of them and be a kind of them and don't try and force it out of them because they're clearly not ready to deal with that themselves. You never know what personal struggles someone is dealing with someone could have parents that hate the fact that they're gay or kick them out for being gay or do a lot of bad things to them because they're gay or they could feel not accepted by their church or their family or their friends um, or their school even if they go to a religious church, uh, religious school and so you never know what someone is dealing with you never know the, the reasons why someone stays in the closet so please don't try and out someone for being gay it's really not a good thing to do it's a pretty messed up thing to do it's a pretty evil thing to do and on top of that like I mentioned earlier like why do you care so much about their what the, what they identify as 
unless you want to date them, I guess. That's just that's just kind of in my perspective of the whole thing. But yeah, you guys, so I also kind of wanted to give you guys some closure to the last video that a lot of you guys probably saw, which was the um, I was exposed. But basically, since then, things have gotten a lot better. I know the direction I'm taking my life in. I know what I'm doing right now. I'm studying for an exam for a very high paying job uh, that I am actually passionate about, um, that I take the day before my birthday on September 21st, I take the exam for that job and I'm, you know, doing my best to study for that. And so I'm there, I might not have uploads as, as frequently. And if I get this job, I definitely will have uploads like starting next year around like April, I'd say I'd get like super busy. Um, but I will always at some point upload a video at some point in the month because I love doing this and I genuinely, I genuinely love doing this. I genuinely love making videos, but, um, I want to give you give you guys some closure too on like my mom losing her job. It's actually been like a really positive thing. She's been able to pursue passions that she's passionate about. She's dating an amazing guy right now who's taking really good care of her. And I'm just so happy for her because she actually, has the time in her life where she can uh, evaluate and assess what she wants to do herself and what she you know because she spent all of her life kind of like raising me and my sister that she really hasn't had enough time to spend on herself so I'm really happy that right now she gets to spend the time uh, building up herself and yeah I, I, I don't know it's it's weird to talk about my family to me on camera because like I never really have done this it's always just kind of been about games and me and I don't really know but Anyway, you guys, this video will not have any advertisements, it will not be monetized, and if you want to use any clips of it at any point, you're welcome to. I will not copyright strike you or whatever. Um, and on top of that, if you, the only thing you shouldn't take is the thumbnail, like why would you take the thumbnail? Anyway, um, the, the only thing is, oh, and I'm going to label it for public reuse or whatever, which is something that I've never done to a YouTube video where it's like, pu pu I don't know the proper term. I just want to let you guys know that this is, I'm, I'm not doing this for money at all. And um, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys have a great day. I'm living my best life. I'm enjoying what I do. I'm enjoying studying for this exam. I'm really like, pumped for the future and I'm pumped for things to get better and my phone is blowing up right now but I appreciate you guys I love you guys so much and I will see you guys in the next video which will be a regular video because I already had videos scheduled so the regular videos are going to keep going out but I just want to drop this video so bye you guys love you all you're be prideful in yourself be proud of yourself and accomplish great things in this world always be great Strive to be the best you you can be and strive to leave a positive impact on this earth.